Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of our YouTube channel. As usual, we always talk about food security. Here, our demonstration site in Narua, our Arua Agriculture Organic Center. Our main aim here is to help farmers to improve their food security and of course when we talk about food security, maize is a key player. Maize here in the past we have been achieving yields between 8 to 12,000 kilos per hectare, which is outstanding comparing to the local reality. But that is on maize early planted. And maize planted lately, like this one here planted in June, we are facing serious issues and for sure we are not going to achieve such yield. What is our main issue here today? Our only issue, I would say, is the army floorboard. You see the damage that is causing in this field here? And this damage also is caused not only here in Arua or in West Nile, but in whole Uganda and the whole Sub-Sahara. Let's keep in, may, in mind that this army fall war, it comes from the tropical areas, South America, including Brazil, which is one of the biggest maize producers in the world. And yet there, they don't have such losses. What happened here in the last three, four years, since when this army war came to Africa or was introduced, the natural enemies from there did not join them. They didn't come to Africa. But some of them, they're still here. And here at Arua Organic Training Center, we have been fighting with this worm in different ways, not applying chemicals. In the beginning, in the early planting, we have been very successful by just throwing sand or dry soil on top of the maize, and it has been controlling the army worms. But in this rainy season here now, as you can see, we are badly, the, the worms are really damaging our maize, and we have been spraying this. I'm sad to tell you that we have been spraying our maize with pesticide. I can't find this one. But the results, the control, is very, very insignificant. Why? Because the worm itself, it's located in a very strategic position. It protects themselves by digging themselves down in the stalk and very difficult to reach when you try to kill it with chemicals. Let me try to find one here. Okay. There you go. You see, when you spray here, it, it will not reach the worm itself. And therefore, you can spray every week and no result is seen. Meanwhile, while you're spraying, you're killing also the local enemies. As our principle here at Arua Organic Training Center, we always try to find alternative methods to control pests. Today, we are going to teach or demonstrate to you. As you can see, we are still going to use pesticide. Therefore, I'm using my, my, my protective gloves here to kill this insect. Let's keep in mind, the moth that lays eggs for, for the fall army worms, literature says it travels up to 100 kilometers per night. And in their life cycle, it can lay up to 1,500 eggs. One adult can leave behind 1,500 new insects that in a few days or weeks are going to become adults and are going to start a new cycle. So one mop can lay 1,500 eggs. Therefore, it feeds also a very important aspect. It feeds on over 80 different crops. Sorghum, cassava, tobacco, maize, any crop, cotton, it feeds on. And therefore, if you plant your maize and in a few days you will see it's infested as we have our field here. Heavily infested and you spray it and there is no control. What we're going to show you today is a more environmentally friendly method by where we prepare maize, uh, where we prepare bait with maize flour and sugar and chemicals. And we apply this only on the top of the maize. So targeting only the worm that during the night will come out and feed on that bait. Our colleague here, Lester, is going to demonstrate how to prepare this, this, uh, this mixture, this bait. Okay, Lester, please. The components we have to prepare our bait are maize flour gotten from ground maize grain. Here we have 5 kgs for our instant. Then 1 kg of sugar, which we are going to mix in the 5 kgs of the maize flour. This is going to act as a carrier in which we shall mix 25 mLs of the chemical 
we have to put it in water so that it can be evenly distributed in our mixture here so that as I leave it here to settle we had mixed a portion which is fine in texture well uniformly mixed not to be too fine as a powder but to have a mixture that can easily be folded and applied onto the plant my colleague will apply as I'm mixing this portion that we can apply on the rest of the field yeah um, 5 kgs of this mixture is expected to cover an acre an acre at a spacing of 80 by 20 well we are dealing with chemicals as I mentioned before people therefore we have to use gloves and we have to use a mask I don't have a mask here so therefore let me cover my nose because the smell is terrible let me go to the end of the line and let's try with this bait to control this insect that is causing such damage on our field. After mixing, after preparing such mixture, it's very simple. You can see one handful like this. You just sprinkle on top of the of each maize plant. It doesn't take so long. Keep counting. You see one hand you will be able to cover between 15 to 20 plants depending on the amount of, of, of uh, this bait that you put per plant. And this will be very effective. Keep in mind that the sugar, the mixture of sugar and maize flour is attractive to this worm and during the night it will come up and feed on this mixture. Of course, once the chemical is ingested by the insect, by the army fall worm, it will die. By doing this, you are not spraying the whole field and you are not killing the natural enemies, which is a very important aspect that we have to observe if you want to keep a balance between natural enemies and the pests that we want to control. By adopting such methods, people, we are securing our crop. We will ensure that we will harvest something, okay? And for sure, we will spend far less in chemicals and we will be causing far less damage to the environment itself. Thank you very much viewers. Please follow us. If you have any question, inquire and we'll send you more details.